Yo guys, what's going on? Rob with 421 Media House coming at you again with another deck review. This week I've got the Orbits by Chris Orbit Brown. Um, this deck's really interesting. It's got a phenomenal story. I'm just going to kind of summarize the history of Orbit really quickly. I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can check out the, uh, the full history if you're interested. But basically, Chris uh, Orbit Brown uh, is a guy that had been a magician for like 10 years, decided that he wanted to do his own deck release, and barely got it funded on Kickstarter. And has really, like, now found uh, a niche in the market to continue to produce decks of cards. And these are just super popular, very in demand. I think all of them are limited edition. I think they only print about 5,000 decks of each one. Um, and it's a deck that, ever since I started reviewing playing cards over the last year, I always get requested to do the Orbits. One thing that... Uh, I kind of decided with this particular version of the Orbits to do the 6th edition is because they've got this, and I know all of them do, but these ones in particular, I liked the color scheme and I liked the kind of UFOs on the deck and the alien theme because people that know me and listen to the podcast and watch some of my content and stuff like that know I love to sit down and talk conspiracy theories. Um, maybe drop your favorite conspiracy theory in the comments below and we'll discuss that and I would love to chat conspiracy theories I know some of the past podcast guests have requested I do a uh, podcast discussing conspiracy theories and we'll sit down and we'll just chat conspiracy theories so um yeah we'll take a take a quick look at these so first of all the tuck case is like a matte paper a uh, very simple design the thin white border around the outside with this orbit band on it uh, it gives you kind of a sneak peek of what to maybe expect from the back design on the front of this. Uh, I don't know quite what this... Oh, the 23 uh, up in the corner here. It's uh, Chris Robert Brown's number. Uh, and then we've got the UFO swoosh on the bottom here. It says 6th edition on one side of the tuck case. It says distributed by orbitbrown.com. And it has an address on it, illustrated by Daniel Schneider. And then the back of the tuck case here is the back design of the playing cards. I really dig the back design of these. So let's crack these guys open quickly and we'll take a look on the inside. There's a reveal, hashtag the orbit deck um, on the inside of the tuck flap there. There's nothing else on the inside here. Um, it's just that cool green color. I do dig this tuck case. It's, uh, it's an interesting tuck case. Um, so as far as ad cards goes, you're going to get a double backer and you're going to get an extra eight of spades which is cool, makes this deck very accessible to magicians. Um, versus some of the cardistry decks out there where you don't get the... You get two ad cards or you get a double backer or you get something like the Vert where you don't even get the Jokers, you just get some other stuff. Uh, you do get the identical Jokers of the aliens riding the bicycles. I think this is just super silly and fun. Um, I do dig the, the matching Jokers there. You can tell designed by a magician uh, when you see that kind of thing. Ace of Spades, again, you get that number 23 down there. Uh, Persistent Insure, the Orbit Deck, OrbitBrown.com. Uh, and then there's the astronaut standing on what appears to be the moon looking down at the Earth. Uh, I think kind of a neat little feature. Um, these are not quite black. They're a very, very, very dark green color uh, on the pips and indices. They are unique to this deck. Um, thing that has become more and more common and then some of these face cards are standard and some of them are based on Chris's friends which I think is kind of an interesting little touch um, I don't think this is the standard red color unfortunately I don't have a deck of standard playing cards in front of me right now to compare but they are a, a fairly dark red I don't know how well it's going to show up again we'll take a quick look at these unique faces um, as I mentioned, these are, I actually thought at first that these might be astrologers, but they're all actually magicians and singers, friends of Chris, Chris's, like I said. Uh, again, that same darker green color uh, on the clubs. The royalty, again, unique royalty, which is kind of cool. And then the diamonds. One thing that I've noticed while I've had this deck this week is, first of all, people that aren't even magicians uh, have been coming up to me being like, dude, that deck is so cool. What are those? And there's not a whole lot of people or decks that I've done before where I handle them in public and I'm practicing cardistry on the bus or in a restaurant while I'm waiting for food and people ask about the cards. So that's kind of an interesting thing about this particular deck. Um, one other thing is because the faces are so plain and simple with this deck, um, 
it is something that you can kind of keep around if you're just looking to have a cool deck of cards to play poker with. Um, or just a, something unique to, to play cards with your friends with that aren't too, too wild or unreasonable. Uh, one other thing that you do get with the backs design of these cards is you do get the fan pattern uh, with them, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, there's nothing on the reverse fan. Um, yeah, like I said, really cool back design, very accessible. I find that there's just a lot of cool appeal with these. These are printed on the USPCC premium cardstock. Anybody that has felt the Memento Moris, which are a very, very, very popular deck, these are printed on pretty much the same cardstock. I think they're very similar in terms of thickness, so it is a crush premium stock that we're dealing with. Um, and they just, they glide like butter. Um, I, I'm convinced. I... Based on design, I, I think on, just on handling, I would probably buy another deck of these Orbits uh, for myself. Um, one thing that I do like also is the simplicity in the back design. There's not a whole heck of a lot going on, but you do get those cool UFO shapes flying over the trees and then the, the circle in the back. Um, these remind me a lot of the Cherry Casinos, which anybody that watches again, watches my content and knows, knows Cherry Casinos are one of my favorite decks. Um, so these are printed on the premium stock versus the Casino B stock, but, uh, yeah. Minor differences, totally dig this deck, would recommend picking up a deck for yourself before they're gone. Uh, and like I said, leave a comment below, let me know what your favorite conspiracy theory is, I'd love to discuss it with you guys. And, uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new here and like this video, and we'll see you guys next week for another deck review.